Mm-hmm. Zero conditional. What we need to remember with zero conditional is that we talk about things that are always true or for situations that have a constant result. With zero conditional, we use the simple present tense for both clauses, the if clause and the result clause. Take note of the following example. If you eat more fruits and vegetables, you get healthier. The if clause here is, if you eat more fruits and vegetables. It is in the simple present tense. The result clause is, you get healthier. It is also in the simple present tense. This sentence is a fact. The result clause, you get healthier, happens when the if clause, if you eat more fruits and vegetables, is done. Remember, if the if clause is at the start of the sentence, we put a comma after it. If you've noticed, we put a comma after the clause if you eat more fruits and vegetables. But, if the result clause is the one which is at the start of the sentence, then a comma is not needed. Example, you get healthier if you eat more fruits and vegetables. Another example, if there is no oxygen, living things die. The if clause here is, if there is no oxygen. The result clause is, living things die. Another one, if employees don't do their job well, they get fired. If employees don't do their job well is our if clause. They get fired is of course our result clause. If children study hard, their parents are happy. If you put water in the freezer, it turns into ice. The if clauses here are, if children study hard, and if you put water in the freezer. The result clauses are, their parents are happy, and it turns into ice. If you have noticed, all these examples are facts. The results always happen when the previously mentioned actions are done. That's why both the if clauses and the result clauses are in simple present tense. For our exercise, correct the given sentences and make zero conditional sentences. The first one, if I won't wake up at 7 a.m., I will be late for school. The answer is, if I don't wake up at 7 a.m., I am late for school. Our if clause and result clause are both in future simple tense. We need to change them into present simple. That's why we have the answer, if I don't wake up at 7 a.m., I am late for school. The second one, if you worked more and slept less, you had gotten sick. The answer is, if you work more and sleep less, you get sick. The if clause, if you worked more and slept less, is in the past simple, while the result clause, you had gotten sick, is in the past perfect. We need to change them into present simple. That's why we have the answer, if you work more and sleep less, you get sick. The third one, if Maria can drink coffee in the morning, she gets a terrible headache. The answer is, if Maria can drink coffee in the morning, she gets a terrible headache. The if clause and the result clause are already in the present simple, so we don't need to change it. The fourth one, if it was weekend, I visited my grandparents.
The correct answer is If it is weekend, I visit my grandparents. The clauses here are both in simple past. Again, it must be in present simple. That's why we have the answer If it is weekend, I visit my grandparents. The last one If you are always lying, nobody will believe you. The correct answer is, if you always lie, nobody believes you. The if clause, if you are always lying, is in the present continuous, while the result clause, nobody will believe you, is in the future simple. This is zero conditional, so we need present simple tense for both clauses. If you always lie, nobody believes you. Did you get them right?